The Flash, number 40, Joshua Williamson writing Carmine DJ Domenico on the art. And oh baby, oh baby, I don't know if you're as positive on this as I am, but oh baby. I'm pretty positive, I got G Domenico back on art, so. Yeah, but uh, so so we love the annual, set up a bunch of great stuff. Yep. Um, of course, with Wally, then we pretty much all like seven hundred as well. Uh, you know, well thirty nine. You know what I mean? Not that that, that yeah. also an issue. Uh, with with Grodd, you felt menacing. It's you know it's paying off in all these different threads that have popped up. Avery's in the book and everything, along with Young Wally, and it's all going off. And this issue is ma- uh, first half of it's mainly just Grodd with Barry, and he eventually takes his power. He the the, you know, the, the Mina and the Virgin. Regine, what are we pronouncing them? Rijin. Rijin, there you go. Uh, hook him up and drain him of his speed force. And Grodd then, like, you know, he's, he's basically taunting him. He see like, sort of flashes of his life. And he's like, oh, you don't want everyone to know that without the powers, without the flash, oh, you're the, nothing. Those two double page spreads where you got Barry along mm-hmm. the bottom losing his power and then the top in that purple glow of, of you know, the, 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 the flash of his life. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, I think it's meant to be like negative speed force or something like that. Like, that's why it's tinted purple. That's what uh, I was yeah, I think so. Getting from it, uh, but then Grodd, like you know, in his flying chair, uh, takes him up into the sky above Central City and just drops him, uh, and he feels like so helpless. And obviously, Kid Flash and Avery are running around trying to help, but uh, not doing a great job of it. And uh, original Wally shows up and catches him. He saves him. He saves the day. And it's a nice big moment. It's like, oh yes, original Wally awesome yeah. and he even references that he, he saw he saw everything going on from keystone it's like oh yeah all right he's over there like he said he'd be you see that's interesting this is uh you know you see the end of the flash annual mm-hmm. him running here at the end i thought that was almost the the exact moment from the end of that oh really i was wondering because you know that ends with him running across the city doesn't it uh yeah it was the annual that did that wasn't it or was that set was that seven hundred I'm, I'm getting confused now. I, I thought it was the annual that ended with Wally, you know, running I, out in, across the city in the costume. I can't remember. Okay, fair enough. I can't no, remember which one it was. It doesn't really yeah. matter, really. But... It doesn't, but with, with the <laughs> with the caption box that said "See the annual," I thought, oh, this yeah. is that exact same moment almost. Yeah, yeah, it may very well be. Uh, but he uh, he shows up, he catches him, and Barry's like, "Crap, I have no powers." Uh, Grodd thinks he's won. Luckily, though, uh, Central City has a flash, and he's like, "It's you." And we end on a page where Wally West is once again prime flash. Yes. Yeah. And obviously it's not going to be permanent, it's a temporary thing, but it's exciting. He's back in Keystone. I mean, you, you say that, it might be permanent come the end of Flash War. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. Surely Barry's got his powers back for Flash War, though. Oh, he must do. They'll, they'll give, find a way to give him some. Oh, I'm assuming he's going to have them back by the end of this arc, and we'll have a nice big... Oh, well, yeah. We'll have all four speedsters uh, running together side by side in a big double pitch spread by the end of this arc. I guarantee it. That that sounds very likely. Yeah. I'm, I'm, willing, to, I'm willing to put money on it right now. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a very pretty issue. Uh, I'm loving... Obviously, I'm excited what it's doing with Wally. I love that it's making original Wally a main part of the book, a main supporting character. Finally. Yeah, it feels so like it's he's... It's only taken 40 issues. Yeah, but it feels like he's actually around. You know, Obviously, the Flash Annual kind of started that. And it's made him feel like he's really part of the the core cast now, which is which is great. And then you know, uh, but it, you know, it doesn't do it at the expense of Avery or I mean, even Avery's like kind of not always around. But it's nice that she's popping back in and out. Uh, yeah, yeah, she has some common sense on her, and you know, grabbing Kid Flash mm-hmm, to, mm-hmm. to get out of there. I'm, I'm uh, distinguishing them the, the Wallys that way for now. Ah, uh, Kid Flash and Kid Flash and Wally. Kid Flash and Wally, yeah, for, for just for reference. Uh, but no, I, I I had a blast with that. I, I think it, it continued the momentum yep. uh, of, of the last issue. I, I didn't feel like it slowed down, and I'm not making puns here. I'm, the, the point I'm making is that, you know, sometimes you'll have the big milestone issue, and then it feels like it slows right down the next issue as mm. it starts to, like, build things up. I feel like this just completely kept moving. I, I feel like often, especially this is a, a part two of a story, mm. and part twos are often the, some of the most sluggish parts. But this is no, 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 full steam ahead. Because they usually want to give you a big bombshell in the first issue to keep you hooked, and then yep. the second issue has to deal with a lot of the details that they kind of maybe brushed over in the first issue because they wanted to get to the big bombshell moment, and then it starts to sort of build more properly from maybe the third part onwards. But uh, now this felt like it just kept going. It felt like 
we built up to the meeting rod the entire last issue, and we just got him at the end of the issue. So it it, it made sense to me to devote almost half the issue to just Grodd, like, talking to him. There's just that monologue, yeah. essentially. And Grodd has a hell of a presence in this. Oh, he does, yeah. Because um, he takes his speed, and he's like, that's not enough, bring me the other speedsters. Like, he's, you know, he's ready to, like, take, take them on. Uh, he's menacing, he's intimidating. Uh, it's exciting to have Wally back in the main the main uh, yeah. picture, if you will. So, How, how we feel about Raijin? Um, he's alright, he's just kind of Grodd's henchman. I'm not, I'm not he, he is at the minute, it's kind of plot device, but yeah. he has such a cool de- design that I kind of let it slide a little bit more. I like Mina more because I think because Mina has the personal connection, it feels more like a yeah, more like a hit dramatically. So oh, definitely. Uh, so he's at least interesting out of the, out of the group, but uh, mm. but he's fine. Like, I have no complaints necessarily. Yeah. No, cool. So it's a solid issue. No, really good. Uh, Flash, I, th- I think with seven hundred in the annual. We're probably back to back two of the best issues of the entire run, uh, and I think this is continuing that feeling. Yeah, definitely. It's really hit, hit, hitting its stride now, isn't it? Yeah, hitting its stride. Picked up some momentum. Uh, yeah, we're, we're all we're all in on these puns this week for some reason. Yeah. We we usually don't bother surprisingly. It's racing ahead, f- full steam. I already did full steam. Sorry. Uh, oh, ugh, so, so so sorry. Yeah. Come on, get be original. <laughs> be original with your quick puns it's electric the book's electric right now it's got energy it's a driving uh, force yeah speed force bro <laughs> um, but no uh, really really good uh, look forward to the next issue um, and I hope Williamson now that he's like really really hitting his stride I'm like oh, you know, I hope this goes to, uh, like King's going to 100 with Batman he's, he, he yeah I want 100 from this now. yeah Williamson just keep going get to 100 just do the whole thing yeah. it's great uh, and he seems to love it and be into it. Like, I, I wonder if holding original Wally back this long was just part of like, no, no, that's a treat when I've like done a lot of other stuff. Like, I don't want to get to it yet. I, I wonder if he didn't want it to be seen as a crutch. Yeah, maybe. Because I feel like if he'd brought this in at the start, people would have loved it. Because, hey, Wally. But I, I, I wonder if he wanted to prove himself on his own terms as, no, I but, can tell a Flash story. When you look at everything he's using right now, uh, Mina, original character set up by him, Hero first, turn bad, all that. Yeah. Uh, August set up, Godspeed. Then he's actually on a bit of a more redemptive sort of path yeah. right now. Like there's so many things that he set up early on that have kind of grown and been part of this overall story. And he's dealt with Iris, he's dealt with Young Wally. Um, it feels like it's it's almost the right time to start. Like okay, right, I've set up all my other things. So now let's bring in original Wally and see what we do with him. Yeah, and and obviously the the fact that he is so prominent at DC going forward, you know, he's involved with all the the events and stuff like that. Yeah, he's one of the writers on uh, No Justice. Yeah, it makes me think. Okay, no, he might stick around on Flash for a while. He'll be like, like you know, what what he's in position with, you know, King and obviously mm. Snyder to be. Oh no, we're going to champion the big long runs and be on books what, for a long time. What was funny actually when the first No Justice images came out with the teams. And our friend James said, "Yo, who's to say that's that's Barry in the Flash suit? That could be Wally." And I was like, "Ah, you're, I mean, I wish it was, but you're dreaming." After this issue, I'm like, "Well, you know, it's not not yeah, entirely see, impossible." I know, I know that's possible, but I still don't want it because it, that means we have to give him a traditional Flash suit, and I don't want that. Really? Yeah, I really like this this suit. I, I like I it. Want, I, 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 like... I, 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 I like the differentiates him a bit more. I like the suit, um, but if there's only one of them. I'm actually all for just that more traditional flash suit. No, I, I, I like him do, doing his own thing and be like, no, this is this is more me. You just want the ginger hair out. That helps, I'm not going to lie. You just want the ginger hair floating in the wind as he's well, running. That helps, but I like that it, it, he differentiates. Like, no, I'm still the flash, but I'm doing it you know, slightly differently. I'm doing it my way rather than just be using the exact same costume. He's taking the, the idea. Mm-hmm.